Recently I acquired these two little figures of uh, boatmen uh, from the Middle Kingdom period of ancient Egypt, roughly 2100 to 1800 BC. Uh, they're made of wood covered in gesso plaster and painted and though they've lost their uh, context and their arms, their faces are still very expressive and they bring to mind a particular burial practice of the Middle Kingdom years during the uh, time of the 11th and 12th dynasty. Those who could afford it uh, could equip their tombs with uh, armies of hordes of little servants who would be performing everyday tasks uh, for the support of the great lord. Uh, cow herds, there are weavers, there are bakers, there are butchers, uh, and of course um, famously are uh, whole crews of boatmen on large model boats. The Metropolitan Museum in New York has a particularly fine collection of these figures if you ever get there. Now, uh, that collection was acquired in 1920 by an expedition that went to Egypt under a <coughs> one of the staff of the Metropolitan Museum named Eustace Winlock. Uh, they had um, been excavating around a tomb of a court official named uh, Mekhetra, who was uh, an official of the 11th dynasty. His tomb had been explored before, but in uh, 1920, during uh, Winlock's expedition, uh, workmen discovered a, a, a hole in the floor near one of the walls, and it was excitedly reported to him there may, might be something in this and that uh, they needed an electric light to have a better look. Now, Winlock was initially sceptical, but uh, he went to the tomb, uh, equipped with the lighting, and they peered into the hole in the floor, and what he found was amazing, and this is how he describes that experience. He writes, there was, there was nothing for us to see, he recalled, but a ragged hole, but when one by one we lay flat on the ground and shot a beam of light into that crack, one of the most startling sights it is ever a digger's luck to see flashed before us. He found himself, quote, gazing down in the midst of a myriad of brightly painted little men going this way and that. He writes, a tall slender girl gazed across me perfectly composed. Quote, little men with sticks in their upraised hands drove spotted oxen. Rowers tugged at their oars in a fleet of boats, while one ship seemed foundering right in front of me with its bow balanced precariously in the air. And all of this busy going and coming was in an uncanny silence, as though the distance back over 40 centuries I looked across was too great even for an echo to reach my ears.